Oh boy. Okay, I've got an exciting bunch of goodies to show you. Um, and excuse the mess here. I am working on a project. A few projects actually, but they, they all need the same treatment to some book text. But anyway, um, so I'm not sure if this project will make it into a video or not, but that's not what today's video is about. Today is an exciting, like I just said, haul. I got lots of goodies. I went to a garage sale that the scrapping bug was having, and so people came by and brought their stuff that they wanted to sell, and I got them. I, I got some stuff, so hopefully everything works good. So this punch, this is a Martha Stewart punch, and this is Snowflake, and it is, it was five dollars. Martha Stewart punches are usually expensive, and that might be why it's uh, it was in the sale though, because it doesn't seem to work too great. But I think if I that's kind of neat actually, even though it didn't punch it all the way out. Maybe it's not supposed to. Anyway, that's kind of neat looking. So, and, and, it gives me little stars too. So that's kind of cool. And then, also a Martha Stewart punch. This one is a flower. I was afraid. Oh, this one works perfect. That, that one works really well. Yeah, really, really well. The The snowflake one is a bit sticky, or, yeah, it doesn't work perfect, but I think I can still get it to work. Now, while I'm in the punches, I'm going to show I found this one with the rounded corners. It's a card punch by We Are Memory Keepers, and... This one as well, which is, which has uh, not rounded corners. I I would have gotten only only the rounded corners, but Franklin said you can get both, so I did. And <laughs> they were each two dollars. Um, the the price tags are are all gone from them because they that's how they. They told they uh, know how much everything cost. They or how much to give each person who donated stuff for brought stuff in. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> and then I got this bag for twenty five dollars, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six punches in there for $25. So hopefully these work great. Let's give them each a test. This is, I think it's an apple. Paper blossom, small geranium leaf punch. Oh, it's a, it's a leaf. Okay. That's kind of neat. It's, it's an interesting shaped leaf. Works great. So I know it's supposed to be a leaf. I might use it as a cherry or an apple. Let's see. Okay, and then, wow, another leaf. Oh, a bigger one of that same leaf. So that's cool. I just want, because it was yard sales, I, I just want to sh make sure that they actually work. Yep, that works great. So you can maybe see it better now. Good. 
Now these look like they've been used, so these may not work as well. So these are these are probably leaves as well, but Wow, that works awesome. Yeah, these are leaves as well, strange ones. But they could be used for other things too. Like that, for example, could be used as a... Um, what do you call those? Uh, not a decanter. Anyway, an oddly shaped witch's, witch's potion bottle or whatever, something like that. And, or an individual petal for a flower or something so yeah that works really well now this one has a star in different flowers so they're tiny but that doesn't bother me and this punch well, actually, this punch here. Oh, you can't see that. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Works awesomely. Yay. So. Get over here, you. Okay. okay. So those are the, the pieces that that gives me. Awesome. Oh, and that looks kind of neat too. You could just use that too. Back it up, back it with something. It's cool. And then these ones are different types of leaves, of varying shapes, I mean, sizes. That one sounds like it needs some grease or something, but it works quite well. So that's good. Different sizes of leaves, those are always handy. And finally, this is the one that I, this is the one that I wanted to get them for. If I could have, I would have gotten only this one, really, but it was uh, the whole bag for 25 And actually, I'm pretty sure that if I had paid full price, just one of these punches would have been at least $25, if not more. And it works awesomely. Yay! Okay. Good. Yeah, maybe I'll put it on there so you can see it even better. Yay! Okay. Well, that's good news. There's, it's only the snowflake one that wasn't inside this bag that doesn't work as great as I would like. But it does work. So that's good. Okay, now... This will work awesomely with this project that's making a mess of my desk right now. So there are leaves. So this is this is what's inside. Some text, some oh skeleton leaf. Yay! Oh and yeah. I love them. <laughs> I'm excited about these stamps. These are probably gonna be among my most used They're probably going to be among my most used stamps very quickly, especially that leaf one. That skeleton leaf one. I've actually been looking for something like that. I'd love to have a bigger one just like it. But anyway, I... I just love this set and I couldn't leave it there. Now, I don't remember the price on this one. It was probably... 
I want to say that it was two dollars, but it was probably five. Anyway, I can't remember exactly the prices. So yeah, I don't remember the prices on anything else now. Actually, that's probably not true. But most things now, I won't remember the price. Found a Sizzix cutting die that I've been... It's been on my wish list for a very long time now. I'm not going to pull out my big shot to test these out right now because we'd be here for three hours and a half or so. But yay! This... I remembered this price. Um, seven wooden stamps for $12. And they are awesome stamps. So I saw this one and I really wanted it. Um, so this this is the first thing that caught my eye. And of course I thought of somebody specific. <laughs> and he does look sassy too, doesn't he, Teresa? Yeah, so anyways, um, so him, I love him. And then I saw these snowflakes and I was excited, oh boy. <laughs> um, so I love this one. This is probably going to be used a lot. And it's even bigger than the owl one. And this one's pretty cool and I thought of Larry when I saw this one. And... These are some little fairies. I'm not sure if I'll use this one, but... But it's it's not bad. It's okay. Uh, anyway, so there's that one. And then I saw this. I've been wanting a stamp just like it. For a long time, it's been on my wish list for a long time. But look, follow your art and some gears. Wow, I wanted the whole box just for this, <laughs> especially that one. <laughs> I know that's silly, but but yeah, um, I love them all except maybe this one's not. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't really see myself using it much. I might put this one in the in the uh, trade box or something, but we'll we'll see. I might I might use it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I was excited about that. Only problem with all this stuff that I found is that I don't know where I'm going to keep it. I don't have a place to put most of it. But, I will solve that problem. That's a good problem for someone like me to have, I think. Okay, and then there was this bag. I believe it was $6 for the whole bag. And I couldn't really tell exactly what was in it. But I saw Tim Holtz and I thought, oh boy, I want that. <laughs> and I love this. So, I decided that I would get it. And... Now I get to find out what's in it. So it's fun. Looks like there's at least one stencil in there and some chipboard. Okay, let's see what I got. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think it's a sticker sheet, but I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Vinyl appliques. Choose and cut out the desired vinyl applique. Place the applique transfer face down. Okay, so it's not a sticker, but uh, I'm probably not going to use it the way it's intended to be. But anyway, beautiful. Love it. Oh, well that's good. I don't have anything like this, and so that is going to be handy. I have lots of alphabet stuff, but not a, not very much number stuff, so that's good. That's a good thing to have. And then this is bubble 
This is Tim, Hol Tim Holtz. Now, one thing that I love about these Tim Holtz stencil things. Oh, yay! Yay! It's this one! Oh, boy. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> it was worth the whole bag just for this. Because this, at Michael's, I'm sure it's worth a lot more than $6. Um... But even the packaging is beautiful. I, I, that's beautiful. I'm going to use that. Um, or something. And But yay! I'm excited about this! And this is pretty cool too. That's going to be used. And, as I started to say and got distracted and excited and stuff. Um, the cool thing about Tim Holtz stencils is that they're in the shape of a giant tag so you can use this as your template and cut yourself giant tags so that's cool you probably knew that already but anyway <laughs> i guess they're probably made specially does that say layering stencils it does hmm interesting okay so anyway, I am really happy about that. So yeah, I was kind of unsure if I should get this bag, but I'm glad I did. Okay, now I'm not sure what this is. Looks like some, some uh, masks. The opposite of a stencil. So there's, okay, let me, that's, that's neat. Let me get a thing so you can see what it looks like. So there's this. Kind of interesting. So I guess they're kind of stencils, kind of masks at the same time. Oh, that's a pretty one. That could be... That could be used as a, a flower or a snowflake, really. Oh, that's that's a good one. A leaf. And that's kind of pretty. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. I like that a lot. That's... I, I'm planning to do a, a mermaid journal, art journal, and this will be, this will work great with that. And then, oh, that, that is probably a snowflake or some kind of damask-like pattern or something. And then... Flourish one. Spritz screens, it's called. Okay, oh, there's another one there. Okay, so there's... It's kind of neat. Okay, so, yeah, those are... Those are neat things. Oh, and there's another one inside there, too. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a, it's a flourish. See? That's a pretty one. I like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this says it's an embossing template, which is an adorable teddy bear. Okay, cool. And then there's another one of them that says baby. I'm not sure that I can use something that says baby, but you never know. Maybe someday somebody... Uh, um, 22 template screen stencil mix. I think this was supposed to be visible on the front of the bag so that you know, you kind of know what you were buying. Okay. So, then there's this. Oh, okay. This is neat. This is... Okay, hold on. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'll show you this first. Um, it's another one like the... Oh, okay. That's a neat 
page protector thing too. Okay, so it's another one like these, I think. It's like this. It's I don't think it's a sticker, but it's uh, one of them transfer things. It is a little bit sticky. Anyway, it's a pretty one. Some pretty flowers. And so this is neat because as you can see here, here it's it's a it's hard to get it in camera properly. It's a layout, and that's great for me because I'm not very good at scrapbooking. I don't really know what I'm doing and stuff. So this is an awesome tool to help me figure out how to do stuff like that. So. So there's, there's this, okay, there's a, I punched out the thing there, but, um, so there's a, that one for a layout, and then there's this one for a layout, which is neat. So, and I think you can use them in conjunction with each other, maybe? No, you can't. They're two different ones. But it's still really cool, I think. Um, so I think the idea is that here is is your your mat and then your photo goes here or something or anyway, I think that's really cool. I'm glad that I got it. And then this looks like a <laughs> looks like they used this as a palette, this packaging. Get out, get out, I wanna see what you are. I wanna see what you look like. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe blue is, I mean black is not such a good color for that. There we go, that's better. That's pretty. Two different sizes of the same image. Or the same uh, decorative border or whatever. A circles punch. I mean, not punch. A circles. Oh, awesome! I uh, I have a, a a template for circles, but I had these. This one, this one has a, a couple extra sizes that I don't have on that other one. So, yeah, that one, and that one, and that one. Those are cool. And that's a stencil, so I'll put it with the stencils. Now, what's the... Ooh! Yes! Oh, yes! That's an awesome one! Oh, wrong backing. So, several tag sizes, and several tag types and a cool star and circle tags and another tag type oh boy of different sizes of each and then and yeah that's a type of tag too i guess and it's hard to hard to show it but i'm excited about that one yes that was a cool purchase and then this is a pretty pattern obviously it's been used but that's okay oh it's it's one of them sticky back ones and some some doggy things Fire hydrant, dog house, two sizes of fire hydrant. Oh, two sizes of each image. So, dog house, bone, and fire hydrant. I don't know why I'm telling you what's on there. You can see it. You have all these. Or you wouldn't be watching this. And then... Wow, this... this that was... Packed. That was jam packed for six dollars. I think this was a good deal. And there's lots of good stuff that I like in here. 
Oh, cool. Okay, this is cool. This is a, I believe it's a, does it say it? Journaling waves. But it looks like a, an envelope or a pocket or something. That is so cool. I don't think those need to be there. So that's pretty cool. This could be used when I'm doing journaling in my mermaid book. I want to keep these together for a bit. And a large envelope, pretty much the same pattern. Well, a little bit different, but oh boy, I'm excited about this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, these are cool envelope templates. And then you, you got stuff in the middle. I'm not sure what is intended to do with that stuff, but it's still pretty cool. But, yeah, envelope template says pretty cool. So I could use those and make journaling pockets for hidden journaling, which is awesome. And then, um, oh, an ovals template and one circle. <laughs> oh, two circles and three ovals. Okay. That's good. I don't think I have that size oval, but I do have an oval and a circles template. But that's still pretty cool. Oh, that's a cool one. This one's probably better. It's probably easier to see this way. So there's a balloon, which is cool. See, a balloon and some hearts. Some hearts with some lace around them and another cool tag and a diamond shape and another type of tag or label thing. Awesome. And oh there's more. Oh cool. Oh cool. Okay, this is cool. It's for babies though, so I might not get a lot of use out of it, but you never know. Somebody else might have a baby and then or something. Um but that's a cool frame and then there's a fun baby and then so yeah, there's some fun clothes. And the duck I think that's the duck's wing. Oh. I think that's the duck's wing and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of neat. And I believe there's one more. Yeah, there's one more, which is cool. Oh, stars. Now I have a stars template, but but it's a different type of star, and, and I like these. I love stars. I don't know why I do, but I do. And a stop sign shape. I up to whatever I can't remember what the name of that is called and I have a hearts template but not that type of heart so and that's a beautiful heart shape and so I love this one so that I think that was well worth six dollars oh and there's more there's chipboard chipboard pieces so there's labels or tags or whatever you call those things and some beautiful swirly do that thingies and my battery's flashing at me again that's really annoying that my battery goes goes so fast and then there's oh wow oh numbers okay that's cool like, like I was saying before I don't have very many numbers things, but now I have a couple. That's pretty cool. Uh, it says it's a template. I call that a stencil usually, but... 
trust your heart. That's a nice one. A Balzer Designs. Crafters Workshop. Balzer's Design. Balzer Designs and what's this one? This is a Crafters Workshop as well, but it doesn't really say. Anyway. Okay, so wow. That was that was pretty good. Okay. And that wasn't even all of it from the art sale. Okay, so then I was intrigued by this. There were like a stack of them and I I would I was tempted to get more than one, but I decided to take to wow. Okay, this was a good deal. I paid two dollars and they're regularly twenty-four. Wow. Maybe I should have gotten more than one. But basically it's a circle album and the it's it's kind of heavy. I'm uh, how many how many it doesn't say how many there are, but anyway, there are a few. So what I'm thinking of the I think there are four pieces. Two three four or five pieces so what I'm thinking of doing is using this as a cover and using the edge as the as for my template to, to make my pages inside and this actually might be pretty cool for several things one it could be cool for my mermaid journal and two it could be cool it could look like a snow globe so you could do one of them tunnel books and have this as your cover. I'm having ideas. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, probably I should have gotten more than one, but I can I can do at least two projects if I do it that way. And then I can use this as a, a stencil-like thing or, or a template and make myself some more out of different materials. So, I'm glad I got at least one of them. Kind of, I think I should have gotten at least one more package of them now. But, I, but anyway, that's okay. That's okay. I have one. It's good enough. I'm running out of places to put this stuff. <laughs> but it's fun. Okay, and then in that same kind of thing, um, I just... Something drew me to the, the, the shape of this heart. I'm probably not going to use it as intended. I'm probably going to use one as a as a stencil template thing and then the rest of them cover up and and use as individual decorations or something. Haven't quite decided yet, but I just it, w it wasn't expensive. I can't remember the price on it, but it was like maybe a dollar or something. So, I got one. And then I got some foam letters. I had never seen some black ones before, so I, I got them. They were 50 cents, I believe. Numbers and letters in this one. And maybe this one too. Anyway, uh, I think they were either 50 cents or 75 cents or something like that for these, for each of these. We'll open this together, but whenever I see a, a grab bag like that, I cannot resist. I was tempted to get more than one, but I restrained myself because I don't really have any clue of what's inside, so it was three dollars for for one so I restrained myself now I'm very excited about this cutting die it's as you can see it's leafy leafy shapes that yeah and it's the good kind that is easy to use now it looks like it might be damaged there but hopefully it still works great found this I'm not sure if it's washi tape or what it is but it's it was too pretty not to get it 
and it's a neat contraption that it's in. It's, yeah, it's, so it's just too pretty. So there's a map, and the, there's like some handwriting on some pretty paper, and then some book text. And this is a pretty one. And there's still quite a bit on there. I can't remember how much this was. But it was a good enough price that I got it, so there you go. Now the contraption seems to be slightly messed up here. But it's a cool one, and I think I'll be able to fix it. But, okay, I'll, I'll play with that later. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll open the, the grab bag together the last thing. And then... These, these were six dollars each. And so it's really cool alphabet. And this one has this stuff on the back, but I got it because I can make, I can build my own snowflake. It's, uh, it's so cool. And this, this one, I'm sure it's intended to be a snowflake, but I can use it to make a forest and put snow on, on the limbs and stuff. And look at all the very pretty snowflakes. And uh, and I love, I just love this set. I just couldn't. Oh yeah, see? Two sets, six dollars. Some of these, the prices are still on them. Oh, this alphabet one was only four dollars. But... But that one is six, and two sets again. Now this is I just this was just too neat. I I couldn't leave it there. Um, so you could make your your flower with well, you could do it just like that, or you could use the same petal for for each flower you make. And then you can choose your, your center. But it's just so pretty. Even just like it is right there is very pretty. <laughs> and it's intriguing. And you don't even have to use it as a, a flower petal. I mean, you can just use the individual things as a stamp all its own. And this is a maze. And so, yeah. That was just too cool to leave there and it was six dollars for two sets so that's this one on that one and this side it's a similar thing but different patterns and a, a bit bigger I think yeah bigger and so yeah same concept and that one says love and uh, yeah this was a very cool set couldn't leave it there it was just too pretty and I got so it says there are full alphabet three sheets and it's book text large letters you can see against my hand and this one was five dollars and you, you know what I always say you can never have too many alpha anything and it's book text and I just love it and it says things like dream and uh, enduring, enchanted, fantastic, believe, and just a bunch of cool stuff. Giggle, <laughs> giddy. Uh, anyway, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, couldn't leave it there. And there was this cardstock 
paper that was just too pretty, especially because I believe it was $2. Can't remember the price on it, but it was a good price. And I guess some of it was used or something. There we go. Um, but I just found that it was really pretty, most of it anyway. And it's cardstock, so it's hard to it's hard to flip through that way. But this this piece here especially is beautiful. Obviously, some whoever had this before agreed with me because <laughs> they used some of it. Um, how many sheets? I guess three sheets per. Okay, it's probably not going to let me film too much longer because the camera just shut itself off, but anyway. Um, I think you get four sheets per image or three sheets or so, but anyway, they're, they're very pretty. And the price was right, so I got it. I don't really need more paper, but anyway. Okay, so I'll try one more time <laughs> to show you some of this. So, very pretty. I wonder... It's hard to... It's really hard to do this because I don't have a good camera angle and stuff. But anyway, I absolutely love this one. It's old postcards. And I love the color. And I love this one. Just before the camera died, the batteries died. Um, I was trying to show you that. I think it's old newspaper or something. And then this. Now they they had the store open there too, the scrapping bug store. So they had regular price stuff too, and they had a Tim Holtz Halloween paper pad like this and I wanted it but it was $13 so I didn't get it so yeah love this that's beautiful love the keys another beautiful text oh and look a vintage lady in there cool and beautiful music paper with a bird. Come on, come on, you can do it. Something sticky got on there, another color of keys. And okay, that's it for the paper stack. Cardstock paper. So I got this. Alpha stamp. Because you never have too many alpha endings. Oh, good! It's got the numbers too! I didn't know that. I didn't realize it was a double, double set. Can't remember how much it was, but I think it was something like 50 cents or so. So I didn't leave it there. Okay, and then I found... I can't remember the price on these either, but obviously they, it was a good enough price that I got them. It's just kind of a flourish cutting die. I don't really know if you can... Yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, and then I got clover and probably is supposed to be a flower come on so yeah now I won't have to I, now I have a clover cutting die in a whatever you call this probably a flower probably supposed to be a flower probably what I will use it for anyway so that's pretty cool. I got this neat set of stamps. And <laughs> Franklin said 
You might want to look at this again because I'm not sure you you know what it is or something. But it just looks cool. And I did want it. And it could pair really well with the, uh, what do you call it? The, where did I put it? I can't remember. I can't think of what it's called now, but um, I think it would pair well with this because it's a women's measurement thingamabob. And yeah, I'll have, oh, there. Women's Institute measure slip. And then stitches and zipper-like look. But that's really cool. I really like that. And I also really liked this. And I don't know. For some reason, this I like that. It, it just... I, I'm picturing using it to, to stamp... Uh, mermaid tails and things like that. Uh, I'm weird, but that's what I intend to do with it. So, yeah, I liked those two. Can't remember the price on that. Okay, I believe that other than this grab bag, that was it from the Scrapping Bug Garage Sale Bunch. I'm not done with my haul, but I'll be right back. Okay, I just took the staples out. So, three dollars. Let's see what we got for three to wow, that's pretty stuffed in there. It does have a significant weight to it too. Of course there had to be some green in there, but that's okay. It'll be used for something. Around St. Patrick's Day probably. And then some other ribbons. I like this one. Oh, that one's free. Hold on. This one's very pretty. I like that. And then... I like this one with the polka dots, too. And that one's... that one's good, too. Oh, that's nice. Some neat... Some neat different tags. Oh, that's a that's a neat one. I've never seen one shaped quite like that, long and skinny like that. But I like it a lot. I'll use it as a template. And sheesh. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Gives me ideas. Oh, I like that one too. And that, I don't know why, but I like tags. I like tag shapes, and it'll be fun. I think I'm gonna, I think I should do tags more often. Especially now that I have a tag punch and tag templates and stuff. Wow, there's a lot in here. Maybe I should have gotten more than one of these. Okay. Another type of tag or a label tag. Life's an adventure. Sure is. Not always a good one, but sometimes. Um, live happy. A neat type of tag. I can use these as templates too. And a couple of postage. Oh, okay. Postage stamps. This must have been Project Life cards or something like that. This will pair well with some of the other stuff I got today. Some of those stamps and things. Women's World. Our Story. That's a good one. That's kind of pretty. Vintagey. Yeah, this looks like vintage. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Them things. And then some chipboard pieces. Oh, um, talk balloons. Those are cool. I can use that. 
that's kind of neat. I can use that. An arrow. Selfie. Oh, and some tags. I can use those as um, tickets, I mean. I can use those for a template. Always happy fun times. The best is yet to come. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that I have things to use as a template for those because I, I didn't have I don't have any ticket stuff I don't think anyway oh that's pretty rhinestone flowery shape thing bicycle ribbon it's kind of neat uh, I think that's probably chalkboard something or other a pretty bird cage wood wood piece adorable butterfly I can always change the color and a white one like that which is very cool and a blue one like that which is cool Okay, this is beautiful washi tape. Where's the end? Where's the end? This is very pretty and it will work with my... can't find the end. It'll work with my uh, mermaid journal. I can't find the end. I was going to peel it off a little bit so you could see it better, but there it is. This, oh, it's gears and stuff. Okay, it's not what I thought it was, but I love it. This would work great with steampunk stuff. Very cool. Okay, I like that. And there's a, a good amount on there. And I have no idea what that thing in the bottom of the bag is. Oh, it's a letter! That I will... Oh, no, no, it was a frame, I think. But I will use it as a frame. And... Probably put a picture of Soma in there. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. So, yeah, this must be the thing that had the most of the weight on it. Yeah, okay, so that's not bad. It's not bad in there. They're not items that I would buy for myself, but I mean, if I had seen what was inside, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but it's still stuff that I will probably end up using or putting in the, the box to trade or give away or whatever. Okay, I also got Happy Mail from APG Jamie. So, woohoo, you winner, you! This month, the card lottery brings you this handy dandy paperclip bead that actually works as a real paperclip. Granted, it may not be that great in a journal or book on account of it's thick, you know, but it sure is pretty. It sure is. So, this is. This is the beautiful paper clip, and the, the envelope has a little heart in it. And yeah, it's very pretty. If I do say some more stuff, and duh, I just said it. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoy the paper clip bead into a paper clip and other whatnots in the en envelope. Um, I do. Thank you, Jamie. Um, and watch my video data. Yeah, I haven't watched the video yet, but I it's on my queue. I do want to watch it. Um, and I will link it below this video. Um, yeah, paper clip beads, my take. Uh, 9 a.m. Central Time. See you then. And remember, happy arting, y'all. Uh, but yeah. So, I, I love Jamie's notes and 
and her her work is very cool very very big fan of the person and her work and then she included some other goodies like she mentioned in the note so I got some cool dies that um, I can use especially this one the postage stamp I can use that as a template so that I can have more and then there's this cool doily or whatever it is it's a bit of glue there we go got it and I absolutely love this hold on can I show you on there I love this I would love to own this cutting die that is gorgeous cattails I love it love it love it love it and speaking of love it this sheet of paper and there's a cute little piece of um, washi tape I'm not sure if it <laughs> I'm not sure if it came with this envelope or if it came off something else I had but anyway um, this is a sheet and it's it's part of a poem all night snow fell like ash through a glass of water everyone's lawns sleep under a large empty page on the way to the funeral home I could feel your note folded into my shirt pocket cupping my chest like a passport from a country wiped off the, the world when we stop to get gas I look at my hands I'm wearing your gloves dad alone in the cold outside waits for the tank to fill across the street kids build a man out of snow I think it's a good it's a good one I'm I'm a terrible reader um yeah if I if I were better at reading it it would have sounded better but that's cool and this cool photo reel this is another one I'd love to have that die and a couple of really cool napkins these are very pretty so awesome thank you Jamie I love it thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> I really love it when I win Jamie's card lottery I'm spoiled you spoil me rotten Jamie and I love it okay now after we left the yard sale, we went to a Dollar Tree garage sale, whatever it was called. We went to Dollar Tree. Now, this was a different Dollar Tree and it's further away from me, so I won't go to this one very often. But so it was a good it was good to see this one. This one is a lot bigger and it was cool. It had a lot of Halloween stuff out and a lot of Christmas stuff out. And it had other stuff, um, you'll see. And I'm just going to grab it as it comes out of the bag. It's it's a mixed. It's not a specific category. It's, it's a mix. But, yeah, the, I was excited because they had almost everything on my wish list for the Halloween stuff. <laughs> almost everything except for that one garland that I'm looking for the skeleton garland um, they still I still didn't find that but I found everything else that was on my wish list so uh, for Halloween stuff so I got one of these pumpkins so that I can use it um, hoping that I can do different things with it to use as a template and if not I'll I'll get another one and stuff so anyway but I, I got one to start with to see how the different project ideas I have will work out make your own snow globe I was tempted to get more than one but I figured I'd start with one kind of like the pumpkin I figured I'd start with one and then see how it works out and if I like it then I'll get more we have a couple of 
drawers in the kitchen that need this kind of stuff and then I figure that whatever the drawer doesn't use up I will use here in my studio room for book covers or something else so yeah this is this is shelf liner shelf and drawer liner washable and durable easy to apply and remove so that's pretty cool now I don't buy a lot of napkins anymore because I have way too many but these ones I just had to because they're so pretty and they will work with the stuff that I'm doing now this one especially I absolutely I mean they're they're fairly large too like they're they're big <laughs> um, so so this and then this very pretty and then this one very pretty as well I really love this one so yeah I ended up not being able to resist those then I found these skulls I got two of them now they're not perfect but oh I thought they were the same but they're not identical anyway yeah I mean I can I can fix bits that aren't perfect but I have projects in mind for these as well kind of like the pumpkin and the thing but I got two of that because well just because <laughs> And then I found these creepy cloths, one in black and one in sort of white, off-white. And again, if, if I like my results with these two, then I'm, I might get more next time I'm there, if they still have them. And then I got more of, more of those, because I ran out of the, the last time I got those. I thought this might come in handy so I got it it's a, it's a beads it's a funnel basically and there are two of them too many funnels I thought this would ha be handy for all kinds of things not just beads but so I hope that I'm right on that found those giant googly eyes I was looking for and I'm hoping to be able to create the project soon got some christmas version of the led string oh shoot i didn't realize i got the green one i thought i got the red one. Oh man should have paid closer attention oh well it's okay i'll still be able to use it yeah next time i'm at a dollar tree i'll probably pick up the red one i've passed this up several times and this time I I decided I wanted it so I got one I almost picked up a couple of the other patterns but I decided that this one's enough because there's not very much on there and you know it's a dollar each and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet <laughs> it's just very pretty and so I, I couldn't resist it this time I resisted it every other time I walked by those in the store, but... And... That video probably won't be up before you... Before this one, so I'll tell you, but... Um, just the other day I was filming a, a video and... I was saying how I ran out of black artist wire. Um, and so I got a couple of packages of this. So that I'd have a little bit of black again. And these other colors will come in handy too. Especially this one. Um, but yeah. So. That's good. I got this. Because I want to see if my washi will fit in there. And if it does, I will get more. And it does fit perfectly. Awesome. Okay, so. I'll get more of those because I think this will work much better than this although this works okay but 
think it's this is better because you can see what you can see through it and stuff so that's awesome I'm so happy to see that that does work I've picked up two of this it's birds color your own washi tape but I'm I'm probably not even going to color it and probably going to leave it just like that because it's just pretty on its own. But that there, there's a there's an example of how you could color it. Mine would look very different if I colored it. But anyway, um, yeah, I got two of those because it was pretty and. It was there, there were lots of different uh, different ones, but these are this is the only one that I liked the look of. So only got those two. Picked up a couple more of the those LED lights and another a thing of of LED lights. I think there's 10, yeah, 10 lights um, for Christmas projects. Minion stickers because minions are adorable. He's a rock star. <laughs> Four sheets in that package. Got these Halloween stickers mostly because that dog is just too adorable. And the ghost is pretty adorable too with the, the candy corn. And those, yeah, I like this set. This is pretty cool. Pretty adorable. Now, I think you get two of each image. Looks like it, yeah. So anyway, pretty adorable. Especially the dog and the ghost, they're my favorite. I couldn't resist these. They were too adorable. And of course, I thought of a certain someone again. <laughs> they got hoodies and they're adorable. Owls are so adorable. And speaking of owls and adorableness, they got these. These woodcuts. And oh my gosh. That one is just adorable. There are 15 pieces in here. So it looks like you get five of three designs. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, now you can see it really well. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, just too adorable. I, sp I especially love that one. He's just too adorable. Very cute. And those two are good too. But I just love that one. So yeah, basically that's the one that sold me. <laughs> okay, I found some of these finger protector thingamabobs. Yay. Three pieces. Um, I think I probably only need one, maybe two, but yeah. Hopefully they work good so that I don't keep burning myself. A <laughs> random bit. I needed some of these for cleaning. So I got me a pair. Oh, got these Christmas stickers. I think they're pretty. And the he's so adorable. So this was on my list. I almost picked up two of them, but I uh, liked the pumpkin and the. I uh, yeah. Anyway, I I yeah the snow globe thing. I decided that one package is enough for now, and if I use them up and need more, then I'll get more next time. Hopefully I won't regret that decision. <laughs> yeah, hopefully if I need more, they'll be there when I need them. And if not, oh well, my own fault. I found the skeleton, and I couldn't resist it, so I... His feet are on opposite I think yeah his feet are on the wrong way I wonder 
I didn't notice that. I I had picked out one that had his his skull bashed in. Um and then so I put that one back and then got this one, but I didn't notice his feet. But that's okay. If I can't fix it, it doesn't matter. It's it's just kind of fun anyway. So anyway, so the 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 garland that I'm looking for, I'm pretty sure looks similar to this, only very small. Um the the skeletons on it look similar to this but a lot smaller. I found this stuff and I couldn't resist it. It's it's a knitting yarn. It's a, it's a yarn, but it's it's neat stuff and it's very soft. I um, couldn't resist that one. There were other types, of course, but that was the only one I wanted. Now this, it's it's for the bathtub, but I figure that they will either be awesome on my mermaid journal that I keep talking about, or they might work as stamps. I'm going to try and see if they work as stamps. Not right now, but... So this is what they are. A starfish, a jellyfish, I mean a seahorse and a, a shell. Yes. As I keep trying to say, but getting distracted or whatever. If it doesn't work as a stamp, then I will use them on the cover of my mermaid journal, probably. I might even get another set to put in the bathroom just because. We'll see. And then I found these two. I found some in silver and some in blue. These pretty snowflake since they're stickers but anyway they're little doodads that are very pretty. Couldn't resist them. And what else? Oh, I found this beautiful roll of washi tape. There's a fair amount on there too. And it's it's a wood plank look. If I could have found more, I would have gotten more than one because I love it. But uh yeah, there was only the one that I could find. And last but not least, yep, last, yep, just double checked. They actually had a t-shirt for me, which I'm surprised. Just a plain old t-shirt. So, there you go. There's my Happy Mail and my haul from a garage sale and from a Dollar Tree. Canadian Dollar Tree. So yay! I got lots of goodies. I got spoiled again. Oh boy. Look at that adorable kitty cat over there. Not sure what to think. Playing with her toy bag. This bag contains a lot of her toys. Or they did until she started taking everything out. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, Jamie. And thank you, Franklin. <laughs> thank you for driving me there and for agreeing to take me there and for let, for spoiling me. And yeah. So thank you and thanks for watching. And um See you in my next video, I guess.